Now let's understand the temperature entropy diagram. So this is how a temperature entropy diagram looks like. Okay. Now there are two lines which we need to understand. This line we know is the saturated liquid line and this is the saturated vapor line. Okay. So let me write down this is saturated liquid line and this is saturated vapor line. These two lines intersect at this point which is called the critical point. Now the thing is you know the saturated liquid line you know it almost starts at this temperature. So you can say that at triple point the entropy change is zero. Okay. So this is a point worth noting down. So your saturated liquid line originates originates at 273.16 Kelvin okay, and that is the triple point temperature for water is right. So this means that delta S for triple point is 0. Okay. Now there are two lines shown in blue color. Okay. So these blue colored lines they show two kind of things. Okay, so if you, yeah, before I go on to that, let's uh, look at the regions you have in this diagram. So this SLL, SVL, it is dividing this whole graph into three regions. We all know that this is the compressed liquid or the subcooled liquid. This is the liquid plus vapor region and this is the superheated vapor. Okay. Now, in the compressed liquid region, this blue colored line, this slant line, okay, is the constant pressure line. You can see this. Okay, so this is 1 MPa pressure and this would be higher than 1 MPa. So this blue colored line, if I draw it, this is a constant pressure line. So this is an isobar. Okay, now in the compressed liquid region, the constant pressure line is almost coinciding with the saturated liquid line. Okay. Now when this constant pressure line comes into the liquid plus vapor wet region, it coincides or it becomes parallel to the isotherm that is the constant temperature lines. Okay. Because uh, this line is also a constant temperature line. And in the liquid plus region, the constant temperature line and the constant pressure line, they become parallel to each other. And then it, you know, has an upward trend and has a more bigger divergence as compared to what you have in the compressed liquid region in the superheated region. Okay. Now, you have two more lines in the red color region. So, in this red color region, these are the specific volume lines. Okay. Now, once you get to into the superheated vapor range, in the superheated vapor range, the slope of the uh, specific volume lines is greater as compared to the slope of the constant pressure lines. So, in superheated region, in superheated region, okay, slope of isocores is higher than slope of isobars. Okay. So this is something you need to understand. Okay. And in wet region that is liquid plus vapor the isotherm and the isobar are parallel to each other. Okay, so this is some properties of understanding a temperature entropy plot and to recognize that these lines represent which property. Okay, so I hope you understood this small video on TS plot and the various components in a TS plot. Now let's move on to the next plot in the next video which is called 
अ मोलियर डायग्राम और दी एंथेल्पी एंट्रोपी डायग्राम 